Welcome to Colombia! Welcome wonderful people all over the world. My name is Frank, I'm Swiss and I came to Colombia in 2015 and I run a travel agency in Bogota. We're currently in El Rincón del Mar and I actually discovered this place more by accident because I wanted to check out the islands but this place is so great and I believe in a couple of years this place will be more popular than let's say Palomino next to Santa Marta and why this is I will explain you in the next couple of minutes. First of all, I want to explain how to get here and where we are actually. So, Rincón del Mar is about two hours south of Cartagena and it's very easy to get here. You just go to the bus terminal, you jump on the bus and then you drive to San Onofre. And then arriving there, you will already have uh, many young guys waiting at the door of the bus when you arrive like this, ah, taxi, taxi. <laughs> and they're offering their service for a moto taxi with the motorbike or I took, for example, a tuk-tuk taxi because I had a little more luggage. And then you drive 30 minutes and then you're here actually, which is great. Some parts of the road are, it's dirt road at the moment still, but they're on constructing it, they're putting in pavement so this uh, town will be much more accessible in the future and I can assure you this is the absolute best greatest peacefulest beach town you find in the area it's really really nice it's really local it's uh, not totally untouched but it's quite virgin uh, no big tourism streams and this is actually very incredible because Cartagena is very close and some of you might know in Cartagena in the city there are no good beaches and what you can do as a tourist you can go to Playa Blanca which is during the week is okay on weekends it's a disaster but in general it's uh, complicated because uh, yeah many fraudulent behavior and it would be a nice beach but it's uh, not such a nice experience for many many visitors in Playa Blanca and all the other beaches in Rosario and Baru are mostly with hotels and the reason why I came here is actually to discover the Archipelago de San Bernardo which consists uh, of a couple of islands here it's two hours by boat from Cartagena and from here it's just driving over, it's like 30 minutes. It's really, really close and it's really great, like 30 minutes with the, with the fisher boat. So what has Rincón del Mar to offer? So we have beach, beach and more beach. Uh, let's say we have uh, three different types of beach. We have the, a little bit the outer area with a very nice hotel, Dos Aguas. And the beach is quite uh, big and deep and they say it's the perfect sunset beach and when I was there I really <laughs> was filming the or oh, I made the uh, time lapse of the, the great sunset with the fireball going into the water really great it's a it's really nice beach then you have uh, before the bridge um, you have to go there and go over the bridge then before the bridge you have uh, this part you can see here which is the town and you can see all the all the fisher boats all over the place uh, it's like a parking lot for them and then when the town ends the beach goes on on like for kilometers i don't know five kilometers or more and uh, it's not the cleaned up beach but that you have in the in the woods or behind the trees you have houses uh, but it's a huge beach to walk and it's really awesome and the beach is really nice it's really clean here in the hotels uh, they, they clean it and the water you can see it's very calm uh, when it's getting windy in the afternoon it's a bit uh, more waves but uh, it's really really nice and the water it's so warm it's like a pool it's so chilled so it's perfect for just standing in the water and 
The thing is, you walk in and it's all like fine sand and you can walk in, it's really nice and no stones, nothing, and you can walk in quite a bit and it's a perfect feeling. Hey, Columbia Traveler! Do not miss out on the great additional information we always provide below in the description sections of all our videos. Now back to the video. Also there are some cool activities. It's not that you come here and then you, all you can do is hang out at the beach. So great activities is, I start with the highlight, is Illuminescent Plankton. That's awesome. That's so cool. Like you go there at night and you swim and everything glows up. Like in the movie Avatar. Like it's so amazing. I saw that for the first time. I tried to film that. With the camera, I, I tried all the functions. I'm not sure. So we are showing you, and I, I'm not sure what, you, what you're going to see because we have to go through post-production and see what we can get out of the material. Um, but in reality, it's so cool. So what do you do? The, the plan is you take a boat, you drive to the bird island first, and then you have sunset, and you see all the birds coming. And it's very close, actually, a small island. And that's really cool. Uh, noisy and old birds come and you can go into the water and sit next to the island. And then when it's darker, then you drive further uh, back to the coast. And then they take the boat out of the water. Uh, they carry it over the beach into the mangroves. And then it's, uh, it's uh, already really dark and a bit smelly within the mangroves. They, they would paddle through the mangroves and then you go into, get into a lagoon and then you drive a little bit and there you stop and then you can swim. And it's really like you touch the water and move and it glows up. It's awesome. It's so cool. So this is for sure one of the, of the cool plants you can do and it's not so expensive, like 50,000. But you know, it's driving by night with the fisher boat. So it's not for everybody. So if you're a little bit scared and stuff, that might be not the perfect plan for you, but I think it's worth it. It's really cool. Then also what you can do, you can go and do a mangrove tour because here you have uh, right next a uh, huge place with mangroves. So they do the, with, with canoes and stuff. That's also really cool. And then of course, uh, we are very close to the island, so you can do diving. Hello, my name is Stefania. I'm uh, an Italian uh, diving instructor. I live uh, here in Rincon del Mar with my husband, diving instructor uh, as me. Uh, we run a small uh, dive center in Rincon del Mar. We usually go diving uh, among uh, the islands of this uh, archipelago. Uh, I'm very happy to work uh, here because uh, in general the conditions are uh, always good. Uh, diving in the Caribbean uh, is very relaxing. The temperature of the water is very warm. Here uh, the area is quite huge. We choose uh, to, to dive uh, um, between uh, um, Isla Palma, Isla Mangle and Isla Titipan because uh, there is a big uh, underwater channel full of uh, reef. Here the corals uh, are uh, well preserved. Uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, different kind of corals uh, so in, uh, in a single dive you can observe uh, different specimen of corals. If you want to go deep we can descend uh, to 30, 40, 45 meters. Uh, uh, if you want to see life and colors uh, we prefer uh, it's better to, to stay in between uh, 10 and 18 meters, uh, like for example uh, pufferfish, barracuda, groupers, uh, butterflies, uh, angelfish, uh, there are a lot of rays. Uh, we don't like to dive uh, directly from the islands, uh, we prefer to stay in open sea. You have corals and fish and uh, really, really cool stuff. So diving from here, uh, that's also an activity. Snorkeling you can do. and whenever you want to rent a boat and go somewhere. I mean, they're all fishermen and if you talk to them, you can rent their boat for a day, that, that's no issue. Then also you can go to the islands. They have public beaches. Just to mention here, if you go on a Sunday, a weekend on public holidays, um, those beaches are, will be packed because 
the boats, they bring tourists from all over the region to those public beaches. Then there are also many hotels and this will be a separate video because one day I was visiting like 15 hotels on the islands and some are awesome. I would prefer them over the hotels in uh, Rosario Island and Peru, to be honest. So my future clients, they, I will offer them to them. So that's really cool. So you can also have a, a day at the hotel with a very nice beach, a bit more private, better service. So that's really cool. And I'm sure there is some more stuff you can do. The main activity sure will be the beach here. Then in terms of restaurants, you have local cuisine. It's really local, the costeños, the, the habitants of the coast. Local food, it's really great. So I can actually recommend three restaurants. Samba Caramba, it's like the best local. Those guys, they're cooking so tasty. It's so good. I was there several times. Also, there is Dubai, which is more of a, a restaurant with a better infrastructure, which is also a cool place. And then there is Jeremy, that's a, a French chef. He's got the restaurant Che, right down the road or down, down the beach, uh, better say it. And he's having a little bit of a, a different menu and awesome food and a very good cheesecake. I was there yesterday. In terms of hotels, um, most of the hotels or accommodations are quite low level uh, because it's really not developed yet. You have uh, Dos Aguas, you have a couple running it, uh, Italian, Daniela and Dania. She's from Bogota and it's a totally sustainable hotel. It's really, really beautiful. It's awesome. Everything wood, nice design. On one side you have access to the manglares, the mangroves, uh, hammocks, nice rooms with mosquito on it, really cozy, the bar is awesome and also they have all the, the beach stuff on the beach and it's an awesome place. It's not the cheapest place, um, so this is also a hotel I can send uh, my clients to, so it's really, really nice. And then we have a Merakai Hostel, which is where I stay, this house. Um, it's like uh, 12 or 18 months old. You have nice room, simple service, no food. They have a kitchen and a fridge and everything. They actually have a, especially one room, which is really nice, which has a private balcony and, and a sea view, which is really nice. But they also have shared rooms, which is, I think, 70,000 a night. It's really clean, very nice stuff. It's, for me, it was the perfect place and um, air conditioned during the night between 7 at night and 8 in the morning. So that's also those two places I can actually recommend for the ones that want to have a little bit more comfort with a higher budget and some with smaller budget. So perfect places. Just that you know, infrastructure is still not the best. So many houses are not connected to uh, water supply, electricity, sometimes it goes. Uh, internet usually is quite good, amazingly good. I had WhatsApp calls and everything, but sometimes nothing. Uh, claro, there is signal, especially on the huge terrace up, upstairs there. Uh, that's also quite good. In terms of bugs, well, uh, that's a bit special. On two days, I got stung a lot. The rest of the days, not too much. I'm always using repellent. I didn't see what happened to me. I, I will show you. Um, check this out. Maybe you, you can see that here. Um, so I really got, got stung a lot. Uh, if you come here, you're not allergic and it's, it won't happen to you. But uh, yeah, that's um, we're in a tropical country and here at the beach is usually that there are bugs, but usually there no mosquitoes. I, I never saw, I, I think I saw like one or two kill them in my room, but I never saw mosquitoes. Those are little flies, this thing. So I don't know if it was when I was visiting the island, so it was here or on, on the roof working and underneath the table they were um, biting me. I don't know. So who is this place for? I would say Rincon del Mar is really for travelers who want to have a local experience because it's very original. I mean, people, they live here at the beach, behind the beach, they play uh, bingo on Sundays, <laughs> very funny. And it's really a local, small village town life, and it's awesome. So I think people who want to experience really the real Colombia feeling, they, they can come here. 
Also, you have to be aware on uh, weekends with public holidays. You know, in Colombia, most public holidays are on a Monday. It can become very loud. Also on Sundays, they put out the big speaker towers and then you walk, or Saturday, Sunday, you walk down the street and like every house has its own speaker and it's different music and it's getting loud. It's really funny, <laughs> but this is life here. So if you want to have like perfect silence and, and yoga retreat piece, no, that's not the place. Um, sometimes it can become a little noisy, because, but during my stay, Always during the night, it was it was uh, silence. I could sleep, so it was no issue. So people who want to come here, backpackers, uh, I would say for backpackers, it's just the perfect place for having some beach time. Better than Palomino. Also for higher end client with the Hotel Dos Aguas, but when to have the the local life, you can walk everywhere safe, and uh, it's really great. So I think that's also a good option. And also for people who want to do some diving, that's also a great destination if you don't want to be in a hotel on the islands because. The issue is always when you're within the hotel, you're like locked in. You're within the hotel and that's it. But here you just walk around, you go and have food wherever you want and you're, you're totally free. Yeah, I think that's it about uh, Rincon del Mar. Very easy to get here two hours from Cartagena. And right now it's still local. I think in the future that will change a lot, especially when the road is totally paved. Many more people will come here, uh, big companies will start investing and then it might change. Right now it's perfect, it's really local, it's cool. In the future I think it will have a huge boom. If I had the capital, somebody wants to give me capital maybe, <laughs> I, I will buy and build something right away here. I see a huge potential. So that's it for today. Um, I wish you a very great time wherever you are in the world. I hope you're planning your trip to Colombia soon and see you here. All the best. Here's Colombia Frank. Bye bye.